in today's daily news we're going to talk about something that uh, is quite fun for me at least and the fact that the once iconic oceana hotel in downtown kingston has been relinquished from the grasp of the ministry of health and will now be transformed it actually has been transformed in the into the rok dare i say rock i have no idea we'll see how they rather be referenced but this is now the rok hotel and uh, upon conversing with the team there i was made to understand that they will open for business around easter time this year and i so look forward to being among their guests but it's not just talking about the rok hotel it's not just talking about a new hotel downtown because there are those who are not even aware of how iconic this edifice has been now i'll take you back in time because growing up in kingston the kingston waterfront served a very important function in life and commerce of jamaicans as a matter of fact the victoria pier was a very busy area when i was a, a little girl even into young adulthood dare i say so the oceana hotel was a popular place to gather vacation chill on wine i remember when i worked there and we'll start with that sort of conversation having returned from spain in 1990 having completed my exchange year there it was my afs director jeff brown who recommended me to the then general manager who i think was gary francis yes the name sounds like i've got it right and this was 1990 and uh, he took me on as a hotel management trainee i was told later that he actually created that program for me and my role as a trainee would be to spend a year going through all the departments of the hotel so that i would learn the function and the the responsibility of managing a hotel now as a youngster who already loved tourism who loved to travel this was iconic and so i started my role at the oceana hotel and that was a time too when the seabed authority was in high gear so it would have been created sometime not too long before that and this hotel would be the host for the dignitaries who would be attending world famous events at the seabed authority it was a wonderful time you know there were leaders from all over the world who were coming to this property and who i got an, an opportunity to serve my most iconic memory was that of nelson mandela who upon being released made a visit to jamaica and that was awe-inspiring i knew photographs were taken i cannot say i took a photograph with him which would have been priceless now i think but i was in the same room with nelson mandela and that was big the press was there the throng of the crowd was great because this was the apartheid fighter freedom fighter and to discover that he later became the president of south africa just had my breast full with pride and so i had wonderful memories at the oceana hotel 
and I literally grieved when it closed its doors and kind of just stood there looming on the waterfront. So I told you that entire story because my favorite realtor, Roger Carr, just sent out an amazing flyer. And you know he is the flyer design king at QDS, which is a design studio responsible for all my artwork. So you can always check them out. QDS Jamaica. But unbeknown to me was that the ROK Hotel also has residences up for sale. And these are two and three bedroom apartments and penthouse suites. I remember them. I remember having occasion to do site inspections at this property as a part of my role in the sales office. And those rooms were awe-inspiring. Now they have been redone. They're looking fabulous they are available for purchase so starting at 255,000 US dollars you can have a taste of living on the waterfront and without even seeing it I know the views remain spectacular the push by our government to revive the Kingston waterfront to get Ocean Boulevard being the life hub again is just in time. It is funny because years after leaving downtown and going back and seeing how quiet it was, it just became so painful because that was a place to be. And so I look forward to being able once more to go down on the waterfront and to hang out. Now, will I be able to own a piece of living on Kingston's waterfront? Never say never. What they say, live in hope or die in constant spring. So there you have it. The residences at ROK are available and this is something that has attracted me and it should attract you too of course we also have our kingston nightlife event and i am pleased to inform you that we already have our first event picked out for september we'll have more details on that but included in that event will be sailing the Kingston Harbor. I used to enjoy taking the ferry over to Port Royal and for some reason and I cannot understand why and I refuse to buy whatever excuse our government gave they disconnected it. They discontinued it. Yes they disconnected it because honestly now to get to Palis Palisados, you have to drive that round the world journey when you could have just sailed across the harbor. So we have the Loose Canyon partnership that will take you on a wonderful nighttime party cruise through the Kingston Harbor and it will start in the evening just right there at Victoria Pier. I'm so excited. Our accommodation will be provided by the ROK Hotel because we are overnighting in Kingston. And we'll kick off the Saturday. So usually it will be on a Friday unless otherwise set up. But we will kick off our Saturday with a river dining experience. And this is the now very, very, very famous Street Food Saturdays. You heard it on our podcast with Chef Simone Walker Barrett. 
she is an awe-inspiring jamaican who has taken culinary treats and delights to levels unseen here and we will insert some images simply because we want your mouth to water we want you to contact us so that you can book a september to remember with us here at share fantastic travels and resorts limited as we showcase the best of my city kingston town now of course a song came to me whenever i say these things songs come to me simply because they can there's a little song called oh kingston town the place i want to be and I hope we can have a little insert just for you to get the feel of the vibe that you should come to expect on this September afternoon. The dates will be announced very soon, so be sure to come back right here. We are flying all our international guests in through the Norman Manley International Airport. It will be a weekend to remember. You fly in on Friday and you are homebound Sunday night. Well, we don't really have night flights, but Sunday or Monday morning. So, don't delay. It's Share Fantastic Travels and Resorts Limited in collaboration with Street Food Saturdays, taking you to the Rock Hotel, sailing the seas on the loose cannon. It's gonna be blissful. Contact us now. Ciao for now. Yeah.